singing one of my newest covers, City of New Orleans. Speaking of New Orleans, I've been hoping to make up a batch of beignets today. So come into my kitchen and let's make them. Welcome to Whistle While You Cook. I found an awesome recipe that I think you guys will love. It's actually from a cookbook based on the Disney movie, The Princess and the Frog. They make beignets in the movie, which I love. So that's what inspired this recipe. That and City of New Orleans. So now it's time to mix up the dry ingredients. Right here we have two and three quarters cups of flour. And to that I'm going to add a third of a cup of sugar. Just dump it all in there. And then I'm going to add in this little mixture. I put in two teaspoons of baking powder as well as a half a teaspoon each of baking soda, salt, and nutmeg. We want to pour that in there too. And then just get it all together. I like to use a fork for this. Now it's time to mix up our wet ingredients. Now our recipe calls for buttermilk. The problem is we don't have any buttermilk. So here's a little tip if you need a substitution. Just take a cup of just regular milk, pour that into whatever bowl you're using, and add in a tablespoon of lemon juice. The lemon juice will give it the acidity that the milk needs to replicate buttermilk. So just pour that in there and just whisk it a little bit. You just want it a little bit combined. Now it's time to add in the rest of our wet ingredients. We're going to start with a third of a cup of water. One egg just beaten very lightly. and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is going to add a lot of flavor. And then just whisk that together. Now this time you can whisk it a little bit more because you want it to all be combined. So now all we have to do is mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Just pour the flour mixture in there like that and then just stir it together. Gets a little harder to do once it's all getting together, but just work it the best you can. But don't over mix it. Now, I've just floured this cutting board, put it over a towel so that it's a little less messy and it won't slip as easily. I've just turned my dough out onto it, floured that a little bit, and now the fun part, get to work with my hands. Now this is usually when I like to practice some of my songs. <laughs> so here we go. Good morning, America, how are you? Say, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. And I'll be gone 500 miles when the day is done. Now, once you get the mess off your hands, you can pat it into a square about a half an inch thick. And then you want to cut it. I like to use a pizza cutter for this job. It makes, this, it makes the cuts really even, and it's really easy to work with. So just cut them up. Just like that. Now, it's time to head over to the oil and get these babies cooking. It's time to start the frying. We don't actually have a thermometer to test the temperature of the oil, but we want it to be around 325 degrees. So, we take a little piece of leftover dough and just carefully drop it in there. See how it's sizzling? That's perfect. So now I'm going to take two of my beignets and just lower them in there. Get them frying and hopefully get them off. There we go. When the beignets are ready to come out of the oil, just take them out with some tongs. Carefully, you want as much oil to drip back in as possible. And then bring it over here and put it on a wire rack. That way it can cool. And do the same for the other ones. I like to put two in at a time. That way we can get them all in and it won't overcrowd the pan. 
The beignets are out of the fryer and I cannot wait to try one. But first, we're going to top them. I'm using cinnamon sugar, but you can also use powdered sugar, fruit, even chocolate sauce. So just try to get an even coating so that everything gets an even bite of sugar. Ooh, it's looking good already. And now, the taste test. Mmm. These are delicious. And I cannot wait to have another bite. Well, thank you for joining me today on Whistle While You Cook. Check back soon for my cover of City of New Orleans. And keep on watching.